Hey, hey, how you doing? So in this video, I want to talk about one of the illusions in the C++ world. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're a big C++ fan, this is not a C++ diss. No, no, not totally. It's not at all. So one of the things I hear every now and then from young nerdlings, I think students at university, is that they're, I guess they're told by their professors that to become great coders, they have to learn C and C++ because it's the foundational language, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. No, it's not. No, it's not. I've probably covered this before, but I've done over 2,000 videos, so I forget what I talk about all the time. Anyhow, so, yes, C++ is a very powerful language. You see it all over the place. There's plenty of jobs today. So if you're learning C++, it's good. But there's a lot of things that you do in C++ that you don't have to concern yourself about in other languages like Java, JavaScript, and so on. Yeah, actually, I just discovered I just covered this in a previous video. But anyway, this is a short version. So when you're working with higher level languages like JavaScript and Python, C Sharp and Java and PHP, etc., there's a lot of things that you have to explicitly take care of, explicitly take care of in C and C++, but you don't have to worry about in the higher level languages. Uh, number one, memory allocation and management. You got to do that yourself manually. The advantage of that is that you have fine control over resources, computer resources. The disadvantage is you got to manage this and it can be a very difficult job, especially as the projects become more complex. Whereas with high level languages like C Sharp and Java and Python, PHP and JavaScript and others, you don't have to worry about that. And uh, so that helps eliminate a lot of work first. And second of all, it helps eliminate a lot of bugs potentially, memory leaks, etc. The cost of that, though, with the higher level languages is that you don't have the efficiency of C++ and C. So the higher level languages, their code does not run nearly as fast. But as I said many, many times before, these days as computers and software is more optimized, as, soft, as the hardware becomes much more powerful, the speed differential between C, C++, and the other languages, it's becoming less and less of an issue in many, many situations, in most situations, if you're developing device drivers, uh, systems that require as much, uh, as little latency as possible, yes, of course, you want that speed in C++. So again, I'm not, let me say it again. I'm not saying C++ is a, not, uh, is a, is a language that's garbage or is not worth learning. What I'm saying is that learning C++ does not give you some special advantage in development that you wouldn't get learning any of our language. You see, whether you learn C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Python, PHP, uh, Perl, uh, whatever, any of TypeScript, whatever. Uh, if you learn any of these languages, it will go a long way in helping you to be able to quickly learn your second and your third language and so on. And guess what? In software development, it's very common it's actually par for the course, but you're going to be learning multiple languages in your career, if not right away. I've seen people tell me working for very large organizations, within six months, they're flipped off, they're flipped from Java to, to Python, then they're flipping into uh, TypeScript, and they're all over the place. That's normal. Your job as a professional developer is to be able to play, to play any of these, with any of these languages and learn them very quickly. Yeah, so the illusion, to conclude this video, so the illusion is that C++, C, give you some, some sort of advantage in learning them first relative to learning some other language. Again, because much of the stuff that you're going to be doing in C and C++ programming, you won't have to concern yourself whatsoever in the higher level languages. The analogy I like to make is that uh, to become a great carpenter, you don't need to be a master at planting trees and growing trees. You need to understand the trees, the different types of wood, hardwood versus softwood, etc. So you understand when it makes sense to use, uh, I don't know, a pine, pine wood or a birch, for example. But beyond that, it's part of it. Same thing with, for example, memory allocation. Huge issue in C++, C++ managing mem memory 
you know, uh, freeing up memory, locking it down, etc. Uh, but in the other languages, the higher level languages, as I mentioned, you don't need to concern yourself with that. It takes care of it for you. Again, it's more efficient in terms of runtime with C++. That's why it's one of the reasons why you got so much speed. But it's also very encumbering in terms of it's time consuming. Anyway, I hope that helps. Remember Uncle Steph's rule of code. Uh, write time speed is much more important than run time speed most of the time. That's one of my rules of coding based on my 8,000 years of experience. <laughs>